I'm still doing well, and looking at the way things are, they say that we'll reach our peak within the next few weeks, and that can be a really scary thing to think about. There's so much uncertainty in this time that it can be overwhelming, but we don't have to give in to despair. John 16 and 33 says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. This is an incredible promise, but it also contains a greater truth. The verse begins by saying, These things I have spoken unto you. If we look back over the verses before it, we can see what these things are. So the first promise is, I love you found in John 13 and 34. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. So this promise is also a commandment to love. Christ's love and forgiveness is a gift that we need to share with the world. The second promise is I go to prepare a place for you. John 14 and 2. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. We can have hope in the midst of trouble because we know there are better days ahead. Through our salvation, we have assurance of a heavenly home. I saw a movie the other day where one of the characters was asked how she keeps her troubles from getting her down. She responded by saying that death is probably the worst thing most people can think about to happen. If you know you're going to heaven, then death isn't something you have to worry about. And if you don't have to worry about death, then you don't have to worry about the other things either. The third promise is I am with you. John 14, 19, and 20. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Because of salvation, we can invite Christ in to live within us. Nothing can ever take that away. The fourth promise is I will give you peace. John 14 and 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The peace that God gives is above anything in this world. We don't have to be afraid. The fifth promise is you are forgiven. John 15 and 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Christ offers forgiveness. All we have to do is ask. He then takes our sin and cleanses us from it. We become his new creation. The sixth promise is I have chosen you. John 15 and 16. I have not chosen you ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name he may give it to you. Jesus loves us no matter what we've done or where we've been. He has chosen us to be his beloved children. He asks us to come to him. The seventh promise is I give you my spirit. John sixteen, seven and eight. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. When we accept salvation, we receive the Holy Spirit. He is there to comfort us and guide us. He is the proof that we have been saved. The eighth promise is I will turn your sorrow into joy. John 16, 20 and 22. Verily I say unto you that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. These things will pass. Though there is trouble now, one day there will be rejoicing. Whether it be in this world or in the one to come, we can be glad. There are so many promises within just those few chapters. I encourage you to look at it and see what you can find. These times are scary, but we are not alone. Christ is there for us, and we can be there for each other. God bless you and keep you. See you next week.